I study horses Beauty matched only by their strength I try and capture a little of that As I move on without your face So our company is built on three principles and the most important one is horsemanship and that nothing matters outside of horsemanship really and what defines horsemanship is a love of horses at its ultimate core right so if you have a love of horses you always look deeper to find meaning and a more peaceful loving way to accomplish things it doesn't matter what it is you're looking for more partnership like a man and a wife if their love is at the core so for our company whatever comes from love and it increases our horsemanship it makes our product better the signature trim is the second leg of our company and also very important the second most important which we'll talk about and the third leg of course is our subscription model which the idea behind that is to enable every farrier to go ahead and do everything that they think they should do regardless of uh, often economic impact to the owner. So I want you guys to tell me what is the job of a horseshoe? Trust. And that trust goes a long way. And uh, I think that's what hurt the most this last time because I really felt that there was a trust and um, so that responsibility is really key and uh, so. So when we're responsible about shoes, their well-being is our goal and they're our judge. Nothing else matters. If my trim is wrong, the horse tells me I have a duty to change. It doesn't matter what I think or what someone else thinks about what I'm doing. Good. So that there's a level of responsibility as a shooter to be part of a team for this. Yeah. For the good of the horse. Yeah. We are here at Skyland Ranch with Casey Letterman. She is letting us use her horses here to practice trimming today. So we'll start on this beautiful paying horse here with Sarah Skinner begin by just being safe about picking up the horse's car. I went ahead and reached for it when he stopped, so I asked him again. Good. The last thing is, if he wasn't going to pick it up for me, I put my shoulder into his shoulder gently and push him off of his leg. Okay. Proportional flies and clues about how far we're going to bring this foot back that we haven't talked about yet are the tip from the tip of the frog to the tip of the toe. We want to see that be about a third. This distance should be about a third of this distance. Does that make sense? So right now this distance is almost a half of yeah. this distance. Yep. So by the time we're done, when it's appropriately reduced uh -huh. in a horizontal sense, this distance will be about a third of the overall distance. From here. It's be like to here. Right. Not here, but here. Right. The line between the two. Oh, gotcha. Okay. These are the heels or the buttress of the heels. Yep. Well, just for the starting place. Like that, okay? Yep. Put that in there, you know. Let me watch now, you're in. Yep. That's right. Those are the commissures. biggest 
failures that sticks out in my mind was a mare I trimmed once just a backyard horse and I came back six weeks later to trim her again and the, the little girl who owned her was really annoyed with me and said, well, she just finished being sore from your last trim. And that really made me think because I did not want this horse to be sore. I wanted to be successful, did not want to know or be known as a fairy who makes horses lame. And so I wasn't going to let it go. So I thought about it a lot and started approaching it from a different angle and slowly learning what the important parts were to help keep a horse comfortable. And as I got a little better, a little better, started getting fired less, having more success, I started working on competition horses and there would be problems there. And I, being a service provider, my philosophy has always been our job is to keep the rider right. All right, well, we've had a good uh, three days with Sarah Skinner. Yes, it's been awesome. Uh, I've learned an incredible amount, more than I even thought it was possible. <laughs>